ladies and gentlemen late good morning it is another it's time for another coaches corner session and our coaches this time here mr gary smith chris talbert joy jones have been crunching the numbers that we saw first of all here for a little while <laughs> Guys, so what, what are we looking at? What's what's going on there? We are here sitting at the end, actually, of the four-way day, which is, is after is round... <laughs> <laughs> I'll have number 54, cook <laughs> fried rice. I'll have, I'll have, I'll have a They're ordering lunch, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so score sheet, really. We're focused yeah, on the score. Is, well, so it's after... <laughs> talking about the, the cut, uh, as happens at IPC... Uh, Formation skydiving events, we're figuring out. So it's the top team from each country that's going to move forward in four way, and that's what we're figuring out who those are because we've got uh, in, in the top the top ten, both Russia, Italy, and France have more than one team. So it's the top team of those nations, and we're figuring out who's fighting for the. And it looks like there's quite a fight yeah. here to get that number six slot it's, for the finals. Right. So the, the semifinals are round nine. There'll be another cut. To round 10 and let's hold for one second i just want to you know, update the audience quickly we we are sitting here at noon on thursday and the four-way event is complete after round eight but we don't know this all the Correct. scores yet right. exactly it's a lunch break and the judges have judged up until round seven the teams have just done round eight and they're all eating right now and uh, yeah, so right now we we are not updated with round eight scores <laughs> i know what you're thinking sorry Chris. <laughs> That's, that was good i <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. That was good. That doesn't happen often. That was good. Uh, so then uh, Joey can probably up update you better because Joey's in. Joey is in the hunt with Formula about um, who's fighting for what spots after the semifinals. Well, with Formula, we were we were trying to push to get into that fourth place spot, but it uh, it didn't work. <clears throat> but we're pretty solidly in fifth, um, and then fighting for that sixth spot, we've got Austria with Final Fire in there, and they've got they're at a hundred and. Oh, that's the fifth spot. Yeah, that and they're, they're pretty soundly in fifth, but sixth place is wide open, huh? Yeah. We've got Italy and Atomics. Um, Italy is Extremo, and Atomics is the German team that yeah. you've been working with. Oh, no, no, no. So, uh, Luke for Luke, 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 Luke yeah. Stephen, yeah. At tight at 109, and hot on their tail is Denmark with 107 and Holland at 106. So with two more rounds to go before that final cut, it looks like it's anybody's game, huh? Yeah. It, depends on, it depends on round eight now, what they do in round eight. And then, of course, they still got round nine tomorrow. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting, and, and again, it's great for four teams to be fighting for. So it puts uh, pressure on and them, and they feel as though they're fighting out there for a medal in a way. The average is quite high as well. The averages are, you know, quite high for you know fighting for non-medal positions. It's always good to see. And we've got it looks like uh, the female to give an update on the, the female standings. The French girls are doing quite well there at uh, 156 through round seven. And, but there is a good battle for second and third between Infrared Band from Russia and Bellatrix Riss and the girls from Australia. They're tied through seven at 94. And the fourth girls team, No Mercy from Poland, is uh, hanging in there at 61. So as, as happens so often, it looks like one of the fiercest battles might not be for first. It'll be somewhere else. And it's going to be for the, the silver and bronze medals between Russia and uh, Australia. 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 Yeah. Well, the, the French girls are not really looking at the women, uh, four-way women uh, class leaderboard. Joey, you have that in Well, your... yeah, I was going to say, there's, there's another story that's not really written between these two categories, and that's the French open team, VR4, the Mabouche, and the French female team. And I believe the French female team is winning by one point after seven rounds, which is, uh, yeah, it's yeah. got to make the girls pretty happy, well, this, competitive this with their open team. Yeah. So that's, that's a good story to keep watching as well and see how the girls fare against uh, their male, their open counterparts because it's a mixed team on the top. So. Yeah, we'll create a combined leaderboard later uh, after round eight when it's complete again and see uh, how it looks like. It's always interesting to do that. Then now, Gary, eight ways coming up. Yeah, I mean, also very interesting in the eight way. Of course, on the top, as uh, Chris says, the French have it all their way. The Russians, no one's going to touch them in second place either. And then we had a very interesting day yesterday with Qatar, between Qatar and uh, Holland, and uh, with Holland being ahead. And then the Qatar guys on our, and they're youngsters, they, they're quicker than us in free fall. We know that, and we're hoping that uh, our training with the blocks and our solid blocks, that we can hang ahead of them. But right now we're one point behind. So um, 
Chris, let me ask you that you, you're not competing in 8-way, not coaching 8-way, but how would it be for, let's say you are still with the Golden Knights in 8-way or with Airspeed in 8-way, whatever, and, um, and one of your teammates, let's say Craig Girard, is coaching the French 8-way team and they beat you. So how would you, what would you think about Craig? Well, gee, you didn't put me on the spot at all, Kurt. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's ask uh, Gary. I, I sure hope this, this doesn't embarrass me or put me in a position to talk about one of my friends. Wow. She just kicked me in the nuts, man. Uh, okay, well, I'll go back to you. Interesting. Uh, you know, uh, it, it would be interesting, and I'm sure that, that at face value, some people may say, well, there's a bit of a conflict there. But this, you know, there's not. That's not how it works. You know, people are going to go, uh, a coach coaching one team and competing you know coaching a team that he's competing against both the team he's coaching and the team he's competing with are going to get their best effort you know that's that's the definition of being a professional and that you know the people that are hired to coach skydiving teams long term like that uh, that they don't get those jobs because they're not professional is it, is it like that Gary are they easy on you or? Very easy. I think uh, Chris summed, summed it up very well. No, we we joking about it. Of course, Qatar, they want to beat the coach. So who knows, if they beat me, I might be out of a job. But, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and the Dutch guys are asking me how much I'm being paid by them to make sure that they beat. The, so I'm they, do, they do pay well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. They, wow. they, they pay themselves well. <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, for me, it's a lot of fun. I'm very proud of Qatar. And, and I give them, as Chris, I give them my 100% in, in the prep to the jump. I feel a little bit that I even shortchange them a little bit because I'm in the plane while they're doing their final prep. So, But they're doing a great job. And, and with Holland also, I give 100%. And I, I enjoy the jumps and free fall. Tough day for us yesterday, slower day, not our easiest blocks. And, and we know that the Qatar, Qataris are a little bit quicker than us in free fall. So. All right, gentlemen, you can go and order your lunches now. Uh, sorry for holding you, you back from, sorry, you're uh, Joe, you're suffering a little, a little bit. A bit allergies, huh? Cutting the grass out here has got me, uh, yeah. I'm uh, fading. But. All right, let's take a break then, enjoy your lunch, Good. and uh, thanks for taking the time.